We have just two days left until Underdog Barbecue opens for business for the first time. With so much left to do, it's going to be all hands on deck to get this place whipped into shape and ready for service for our first customers. Guys that know what they're doing to the rescue. People aren't used to working this fast, and so I am pushing people faster than what they're used to, faster than what is probably even they're capable of doing. I mean, they've got to be wondering why, and I just wish I could tell them. But the reality is, I'm doing it undercover, I have a timeline, I need these people to work fast. So today was a huge day. We had all the furniture delivered, we had the phone systems go up. I mean, it's finally really happening. So what do you think? I can see 16 people here bellying up to the bar, that's for sure. I've been doing this all undercover to keep the bet fair, but tomorrow is day 90. It's time to tell the team who I am. I have been living with this why, basically, for three months. I'm really just proud of the team for digging in, rolling up their sleeves, and getting it done. So I want them to know who I really am before we open the doors of Underdog. Have a seat. I have no idea how these guys are going to take it. I'm hoping, you know, I don't get people really mad and get up and walk out on me. All right, boys, come on up. Move on up. Maybe they're going to think, why would I help this rich guy the whole time? And he could have just gone and bought all this and not ate up all my valuable time. I came to Erie not knowing a soul, not having any real, you know, foundation at all to start with. And I, I could not have done any of this without the team around me. And you guys are it. And I really, really appreciate all the hard work that every single one of you have done. It means the world to me. Now I feel very close to you guys. You know, we've been through wars together, whether they've been at Rib Fest or whether they've been at a house just about you know, done it all with you guys. So I really do appreciate all the hard work and everything that everybody has done. It's been crazy. You know, I think my name isn't Glenn Bryant. My name is Glenn Stearns. And let me tell you why I didn't use my real name. I've made hundreds of millions of dollars. I became the second largest lender in the country. And when I sold the mortgage company, that year we did about $20 billion of business. So I've left out a little bit of my history with business. Just a little bit. It's gonna take a little while to process. I want to show you don't have to come from money. You just have to find good people and then you can do anything. So I bet I could build a business in 90 days with no money and no contacts, and it could be worth a million dollars. I want to make you guys a part of this. I want you to be a part of this. And so, and I hope you guys aren't upset with me. I'm so grateful, I mean, I can't even tell you. I've gotten so much joy out of watching you guys. I mean, help, you know, and just I'm thankful for every one of you. I mean, I tell you, it's been, Amazing journey for me. It's been harder than I ever thought. When I was 25, I don't remember this much pain. <laughs> and I don't think I screwed it up except for once. I gave an email with my name on it to that guy and he found out. Your investigative skills kind of suck. <laughs> I, wasn't, yeah. I wasn't sure if you'd slap me or you'd punch me. I didn't want anyone to feel I used them because I didn't. Dude, thanks did for it. keeping the secret, man. You did it. <laughs> As they will soon find out, I want to be able to give a piece of this business to them, the ones that built it. And it's important to me that the value of the business reflects all of the hard work that they put into it. Winning Rib Fest paid its first dividend because we have a huge crowd here for our grand opening. We're all cool. We've got a big crowd out there. You want to take it away? Hey, we ready? We ready. Underdog, let's rock, baby, let's go. Everything has been ramping up to this. I mean, I've spent 90 days building Underdog Barbecue, and now we're open. We can't afford to make a bad first impression. Hello, folks. Thank you for your patience. Welcome to Underdog Barbecue. First ticket. You're welcome. It's not ideal that this is our first service. These are not how they're supposed to look. All right, anyway. All right, we'll, we'll see, see you later. The stakes couldn't be higher. 
What an amazing night. Killed it in the kitchen, killed it in the bar, but my stomach is in knots. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. That was nice. Hey, Amen. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now that everyone knows who I am and Richard is valuing underdog, it's time for me to make good with my team and the city of Erie. Don, RJ, Matt, and Chris Trott have been my key players. I want to pay them for their time and talk about their roles for the future because they've all put in a lot of time. They really have. Chris Trott was a crucial part of building Underdog. He worked his ass off to get our smoker ready for Ribfest. He was a consistent and reliable soldier on the team. He represents eerie pride and work ethic through and through. I'm not gonna ruin it for these other people. And he kept my secret. What I am doing with the core team is I wanted them to have some ownership, but it's not free, you know, and it would mean getting involved in Underdog Right now, I can't leave what I'm doing. Right. So I thought of another way to do this, which is I wanted to set up the Underdog Entrepreneurial Foundation that I would really like you to be a director of and be able to help other entrepreneurs. I like it. I like yeah. it a lot. Dawn dedicated a lot of time to the Flip House, not to mention all of her contractors and decorating resources. So you want me to? flip a house and design a restaurant at the same well, time. Dawn came through for me, even while juggling her own business and being a single mom. Ooh, look at this. This is awesome. She went way above anything that she'd ever done and was stretched far outside her comfort zone. I am my work. My heart is in my work. I poured everything that I had into that house. I've asked you to do a lot. I've asked the team to do a lot. I felt guilty because all I did is ask and take. And I'm sorry I wasn't able to reciprocate it. So I wrote your check and I want you to have it. Uh, it's for 25,000. It's for, um, you know, for your hard work. And, um, Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I mean, you earned it, you know. I have literally been paycheck to paycheck for four years. I've never had this much money in my life. Of my own money. I don't, I don't, I, wow. Thank you. Thank you. We never would have got to this restaurant without you, you know. He gave me so many things. The confidence, the, the opportunity, the faith, the trust. This process pushed me harder than anything's ever pushed me. My goal was I wanted to have everyone that really became part of the team have the right to be able to earn their way into the company. By doing that really would be spending your time in working in Underdog and growing it. I wish I could give time to Underdog, the restaurant, but it's, it's not my passion. Right. I quit working in a restaurant to open 920. You have your dream of your companies and you, know, you don't want to give that up and I understand that. So what I'm also doing, part of Underdog, is I want to um, form a foundation for entrepreneurs. Some of the profits from Underdog will go into the foundation. I will also seed it with my own money. And then you could be a director under the foundation and you can work with helping to see these entrepreneurs and give them a chance by giving some money to them. I would love to do that. I would love to do that. You've put in some hours. This is for you, $5,000. I appreciate that. This is for the other day Thank or you, other sir. days. Thank you, sir. Thank you for everything. It meant a lot to me that, you know, you were able to really help. It meant a lot to me that I was there. Yeah, I need him to help lead the company with me. I don't know if I said it yesterday or not, but um, there are people that you know, I'm gonna give you this and you'll handle it. You were always one that I knew I could hand it to and I knew you'd get it done. I'm proud of that. First off, I wanna just say, all right, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I wanna pay you for your time because it really means a lot to me. And so I'll get you a check for $20,000. I really appreciate what you've done, Matt. 
I appreciate that. Thank you. That means a lot, really. It means a lot to me too. I thank you. You're part of that core team. You know, it's a big deal to me. You and it'd be ten percent. So I want you to be a part of it. I want you to be a part owner in that. You know. I thank you. I, I don't know what else to say, but thank you. I appreciate that. People think that once you get to a certain social status, that you know they don't give a about anybody else, and and it's just you know they look down on the little guy, and you. After being through this, there's no way that you could say that or feel that, you know? And so that, I think that's exactly why I'm, I'm emotional like this, because it's just so nice, you know? RJ was my top dog. He put in the most time and was consistent with his efforts. I see RJ as an integral part of the future of Underdog. So I do want to pay you back for your time, because that's important to me. So, you know, I want to give you this. It's 25000 just for helping. You can use it however you need it. I can't take that. You didn't take it, you earned it. So it's a big difference. I appreciate you. You earned every penny. I don't know if I've ever been that overwhelmed. No one's ever given me a check, you know, out of the blue like that. I didn't really know how to react. Moving forward, you know, I'd like to make you the director of Underdog Barbecue, right? Which is really about the spices, rubs, the sauces, merchandise, and then, you know, I want to give you the 10% ownership. And then we've got to grow this. Yeah, I mean, I would love to. Oh, good. I'm on board, 100%. I'd love to. It's an honor. All right. Thanks for everything, man. No, thank you. I yeah. can't. Appreciate it. Thank you enough. Yeah. You know, RJ definitely put in the most hours, and he sacrificed the most. I'm very happy That's that good. he's going to be part of Underdog. I'm very happy that we have the friendship that we have. Thank you guys for meeting me here. The grand opening of our restaurant was awesome. And I appreciate you guys more than you know. Really, thank you for everything that's been done. And my audacious kind of goal was that I thought I could, in 90 days, grab a group of people and build a business that could be worth a million dollars. We had the evaluator in today. So he went through head to toe with us talking about our meats, our spices, our rubs, our online apparel. It was evaluating the whole company. And today, he said he'd put a value on everything at $750,000. Yeah. yeah. And so I missed the goal. 90 days was ambitious. And obviously now I see it was a little too ambitious. And that's OK. Yeah, I'm like. But what I also said was that if I didn't make it worth a million, I'm going to put my own million dollars into this business because I want it to last. I want to make sure that we have something strong so that we can get there. But I'm damn proud, OK? I'm really proud where we came. If RJ and Matt helped grow the company over the next three years to say five million to, I don't know, seven million dollars, they could make between 500,000 to 700,000 dollars each. Any one of us could have found an excuse to quit. None of us did. People have always asked me that. Like, how do you make these big companies and how do you do these crazy things? I say, just don't make excuses. <laughs> and I came around all of you guys and you guys do the same thing. Don't. Right there, I right did it. The American dream is alive for everyone. And it feels lately that that's been lost a little bit. Erie was the perfect place to prove that this can happen anywhere in America. Welcome to Underdog Barbecue. With talent, hard work, intuition, and ultimate resilience, you'll find that taking a risk can manifest your dream. When we bet on ourselves and work together, we keep the American dream alive. All righty. One, two, three. Underdog. 우주에서 가장 재미있는 채널 Discovery.